Yes. No matter what your position in life is, one of the things we all face every day are distractions. If you desire to improve your quality of life, you must learn to recognize and reduce the distractions you face every day. On a typical day, you're likely bombarded with people interrupting your task at hand to take care of their immediate need. You might be waiting on a customer and the phone rings or a technician has a question or the office manager needs a special report before lunch. It will help you to recognize the distractions in your life first by counting them. Take a period of four hours at random and perform an actual count of how many times someone distracts you interrupting something else you're working on. To get anything done efficiently requires a level of concentration and focus on your project. Can you imagine if one of your children were attempting to do homework while texting five friends and watching their favorite TV program? Would the homework illustrate their best effort? The answer is clear. If we want to perform our best, we have to get control of the amount of distractions in our daily life. Now, let's hope my wife isn't listening to this call, but I'm going to use her as an example. I could probably use myself as one, but it's more fun to use her. She distracts herself. She doesn't even need interruptions. She could be uh, walking down, driving down the road, and she'll see something that uh, captures her attention and focus goes away from the road, away from the driving, to whatever is distracting her. could be uh, Christmas lights or something. But many times we do distract ourselves. In this instance, I only want you to count the distractions that other people are doing with you. Once you find out how many times you're getting distracted or interrupted, you, you got to ask yourself, what is a way that I can implement to reduce and control these distractions? I want, I understand. I get those interruptions all the time. How am I going to reduce them? Even myself, when I was writing this newsletter, I got two incoming phone calls. Now, I, I was polite. I wasn't saying that, uh, my gosh, I didn't take the call. I could have had the phone off, right? But even in this instance, where I, I did have the phone coming in, I, I took the call and asked if I could call back or, gosh, hate to cut this short, but I've got to complete this newsletter. It is interesting <clears throat> how many times we get interrupted, but the time that's wasted from it is far beyond the uh, actual interruption itself because then you have to go back to the project and say, all right, where was I on this? And if you're not harsh with it, if you just say, hey, I'll get back with you, or uh, have you ever heard this one, they, when someone does, hey, I hate to interrupt you, but, well, they've already interrupted you. Inform them they just did interrupt you, and you'll be with them shortly. Eventually, the individuals around you will get out of that habit. They'll understand when you're working on something you don't uh, uh, accept incoming situations. You don't. You finish the task. You can't imagine the amount of time that you'll save to just be aware of this problem address the issue, complete the task you're working on, and then go through to the next item. You'll greatly increase your efficiency, your ability to get things done, 
your effectiveness, and your quality of life. And when it comes to controlling how you distract yourself, you know when you're seeing the distractions or, or you're looking around and you're not getting the job done. Many of us, we carry our distraction on the cell phone. If you look at how many times you're checking Facebook or checking your incoming mail, looking at different features and things on your phone, even that can be counted as a major distraction today. Controlling yourself, reducing the output of other individuals and bringing you these daily bombardments of distractions, I hope becomes a priority for you. Have a great day, everyone, and thanks for your time.